and uh, many opportunities for development. Excellency William Samuel Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya, our host. Excellencies, uh, heads of state and government uh, present, the representatives of international and regional organizations, all protocols observed. At the outset, uh, may I thank uh, President Samuel Ruto, the government and people of Kenya for the warm welcome accorded to us. I also congratulate uh, the government of Kenya and the African Union on the excellent organization of this summit, uh, which is being held at the appropriate time. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, climate change is one of the greatest collective threats uh, to mankind. In Burundi, the impact of climate change, mainly through drought and torrential rains, violent winds, uh, floods, uh, and uh, landslides uh, are the major factors of uh, displacement of people. And to this, we have to add uh, the uh, rising of the Lake Tanganyika and the land, the growing uh, land degradation, which push uh, families uh, to fight about uh, the remaining fertile land. According to the findings, the annual loss in Burundi estimated at $100 million. In these losses, 72% uh, uh, because of flood, 5% because of torrential rain, and 40% of violent winds. Thus, uh, these uh, weather vagaries, uh, in fact, uh, lead to $70 million of loss and it impacts on the well-being of the peoples, their livelihoods provoke the destruction of human habitat as well as infrastructures, the proliferation of uh, and the spread of diseases and loss in human life. Over the past 20 years, the 1,001 uh, hills uh, of Burundi uh, exposed to the impact of climate change. Burundi was used to having a rainfall of nine months, but today drought has even grown beyond four months with an unusual season and rhythm of seasons that affect agricultural productivity as well as animal husbandry. Burundi has uh, increased the number of initiatives in order to face this phenomenon. Burundi is in line with all the uh, conventions that relate to climate change. In this regard, Burundi has uh, adopted uh, an environment code in 2021, and one of the policies for uh, environmental orientations uh, taking into account climate change. This uh, program is accompanied by the mobilization of farmers and by putting, uh, that is, the planting of trees uh, in uh, fertile arable lands in order to uh, retain uh, the rain water. Burundi prepared uh, in 2021 its uh, nationally uh, I mean contribution operational uh, plans uh, for adaptation uh, plans also adopted and according to Article 9 of Article 4, Paragraph 9 of Article 4 of the Paris Declaration. At the practical level, Burundi uh, is mobilizing regularly youth uh, on vacation in preparing uh, the nurseries uh, for f agroforestry and forestry 
seedlings and to plant them during uh, the period of reforestation and also to have uh, a program that is Burundi since 2018 wants to rehabilitate uh, the degraded uh, forest lands. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, Burundi has the ambition uh, by 2040 wants to develop uh, uh, its uh, objectives of uh, development and the protection of environment and the enhancement of uh, resilience to climate change. According to these perspectives, uh, there are many projects uh, that are envisaged in order to uh, consider a so, uh, climate uh, resilient uh, program. The establishment uh, of uh, agropoles, hydroelectric centers using photovoltaic uh, cells, and the uh, removal and uh, the processing of uh, waste and through technological innovation that are adapted uh, to the agricultural and uh, situations where you will have uh, fuel, wood, and other the natural gas and biogas which is being, were going to be used. As you know, Africa is bearing the burden of uh, the impact of climate change, although it contributes less than 4% uh, of uh, 